What's up you guys, it's Steve here and huge breaking news coming out that's going to be impacting our economy and the need for more stimulus. I'm going to be covering all the details for you in this video, diving into the articles. This is your breaking news stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now first up you guys, the rumors have been confirmed to be true as take a look at this. President Vladimir Putin is going to be undergoing cancer surgery. A lot of people were wondering if he was actually sick and that was why he was taking all of these drastic extreme measures. We had seen those clips of him grasping onto tables for support during meetings and they're saying it's confirmed. Then he's going to be transferring his power over to his ex-FSBA chief, reports are saying. However, we're hearing that they're hoping that the surgery goes well because this ex-FSBA chief is actually worse than former President Vladimir Putin. Now, at this time, the escalation of everything happening in the war is impacting the global economy and what's happening here in the US. And take a look at this, you guys. We're hearing it's not slowing down. Putin is inching towards his nukes, threatening to annihilate the world if he fails to capture Ukraine, says foreign affairs experts. So this is getting even more intense right now with the war in Russia and Ukraine. And as you know, this is impacting the food supply. We're having supply chain shortages, gas prices are soaring, and this is exasperating all of the issues that we're currently experiencing right now with inflation. Now, in addition to that, take a look at this, you guys. Russian state TV shows clips simulating Ireland being wiped out by nuclear weapons as they're beginning to threaten other countries, saying if you get involved, if things fall apart, you're gonna be next. And take a look at this, you guys. Putin may soon officially declare war on Ukraine, US and Western officials say. So they're saying that they will make an official announcement on a very soon upcoming date. All of this time, it has not been official, but they're saying they are going to do so, declare some kind of victory to deploy even more troops. I'm going to get you all the details. And you guys, as I mentioned, take a look at this. Diesel prices have hit record highs, adding to trucking industry troubles. We're hearing that the gas prices are just continuing to go up. Oil companies are taking in huge profits. And as you know, this is causing Congress to say this is not right. The price gouging has got to stop. They want to do a tax and then provide Americans with gas stimulus checks. Just one of many provisions currently on the table with everything that's going on, you guys. Now, as you know, here on the channel, I keep you up to date on everything that's going on. And I'm going to get you caught up on the latest as this will directly impact what's going to be happening with our economy, with inflation, and with stimulus. Now, in addition to that, wanted to share with you some other major breaking news coming out, you guys. Supreme Court draft option that would overturn Roe versus Wade published by Politico. And this is huge. We have not seen anything with abortion in decades quite like this, you guys. I'm going to get you all the details that's just coming out in the past 24 hours, huge breaking news. So let's go ahead and dive right in, get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, also wanted to mention the second channel, Steve Ram Finance. If you're somebody that's interested in learning about growing wealth or personal finance, consider joining that channel as well. I will leave a link. You can click it, go subscribe, turn on notifications. I've just uploaded a highly requested video for cryptocurrency, when we can expect it to see go up in value, how high and which ones to invest in right now in 2020. 22. I also have content up there that I received advice from a multimillionaire on three things to do to achieve financial freedom. I did them and it worked. And also the latest on going, what's going on with Twitter and Elon Musk and with our latest flip projects. If you're interested in investing, real estate, starting businesses, consider joining that channel as well. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into the latest happening right now in our economy and in our world and with stimulus. Now, before we dive in, if you could do me a quick favor, if you appreciate appreciate these updates, keeping you up to speed on everything. Don't forget to take a quick second to smash that like button for me. Helps up the channel a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you want to stay up to date, totally free. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, come join the Ram fam. I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, I'm easy to get a hold of directly. Just hop on to Instagram, shoot me a DM at Steve Ram three. But with that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and dive into the breaking news and get you caught up on the latest. All right, so first up, link in the description below to this article that just came out this morning. Huge breaking news is the Supreme Court draft opinion that would overturn Roe versus Wade is published by Politico. Now it says, in a stunning breach of Supreme Court confidentiality and secrecy, 
Politico has obtained what is called a draft of the majority opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito that would strike down Roe v. Wade. The draft was circulated in early February, according to Politico. The final opinion has not been released and votes and language can change before opinions are formally released. The opinion in this case is not expected to be published until late June. So this is still underway right now, just in draft form. CNN has not independently confirmed the document's authenticity. Politico says that it has authenticated the draft, and the Supreme Court spokesperson declined to comment to CNN. Now, according to the draft, listen to this, the court would overturn Roe v. Wade's holding of a federal constitutional right to an abortion. The opinion would be the most consequential abortion decision in decades and transform the landscape of women's reproductive health in America. Now, they're saying this is just in a draft form at this time, and they're discussing this unfolding next month, but what it would do was it would wipe out the ability for abortion to be legalized on a federal level, take it down to the state level, so then it would be wherever you reside would determine whether or not it would be legal to perform abortion or not. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, you guys, but this is huge breaking news, as they mentioned, nothing quite like this in decades. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, one of the things that's gonna be directly impacting stimulus, Congress, our economy, is the war that's taking place right now in Russia and Ukraine. As you know, Russia supplies tons of oil, which helps provide gasoline around the world a lot, I think over half to Europe, and about roughly 10% of the United States, the majority of which goes to Hawaii and California, which is dramatically impacting gas prices in those areas. Well, we're hearing that a lot of the war that's taking place right now is due to the fact that Russian Vladimir Putin is trying to use what little time he has to accomplish what he desires because he is undergoing cancer treatments. Take a look, you guys. Putin to undergo cancer surgery, transfer of power to ex-FSBA chief. Now, the article says that Russian President Vladimir Putin is set to undergo cancer surgery and temporarily hand over power to a hardline former federal police chief, according to new reports. Putin will transfer control of Russia's government to Nikolai Petrushev, head of the Russian Federal Police Security Council, while he is incapacitated during and after the procedure, according to a video from mysterious telegram channel General SVR. Now, the channel, which is purportedly run by the former Russian Foreign Intelligence Service, Lieutenant General known by the pseudonym Viktor Mikhailovich, reported that Putin has been told by doctors that he must undergo an operation. The anticipated surgery and recovery are expected to incapacitate Putin for a short time, according to unconfirmed reports. And as I shared with you, we were seeing clips of people saying that there was something wrong with him as he was embracing a table, holding onto it the entire time for what looked like support. Uh, and it just seemed like very odd. Now, a lot of people were saying people might have been reading into this uh, a little bit much, but at the same time, it was a pretty long interview, and the entire time, he did not let go of that table. Now, it says Putin is unlikely to agree to hand over power for a long period of time, the narrator said, adding that the control of the country will likely be in Petrushev's hands for no more than about two or three days. I will say that this is the worst option, the narrator added. Petrushev is an outright villain. He is no better than Vladimir Putin. Moreover, he is more cunning, and I would say more insidious of a person than Vladimir Putin. If he comes to power, Russia's problems will only multiply. Now, Viktor Mikhailchov ominously hinted that he and his allies will make certain efforts so this does not happen, and I hope he will succeed, they said. Now, at the same time, I'll let you guys know that Putin may officially declare war on Ukraine. They're gonna be giving us an official date here. Russian President Vladimir Putin could formally declare war on Ukraine as soon as May 9th. So coming up here in about a week, you guys, this could become official, and they're saying that this would ramp up what's gonna be happening here. Take a look, a move that would enable a full mobilization of Russia's reserve forces and invasion efforts continue to falter, U.S. and Western officials believe. May 9th, known as Victory Day inside of Russia, commemorates the country's defeat of the Nazis in 1945. Western officials have long believed that Putin would leverage the symbolic significance and propaganda value of that day to announce either one of two things, a military achievement or a major escalation of hostilities 
or potentially both. So you guys, we're hearing that this is likely gonna be ramping up here officially on May 9th. And if that is the case, that's only gonna be increasing and exasperating the situation that we're experiencing right now with high inflation and an economy with supply chain issues. And as I reported to you, diesel prices just hit a record high. We're also hearing that oil companies are quadrupling their profits. And right now, gas prices are staying up there as oil prices are declining. And uh, we're hearing that Congress is saying, as a result of all of this that's unfolding, it's time to send out more provisions, more stimulus, gas checks, maybe even tax, federal gas tax holidays. States are stepping up on various levels to supply people with some sort of help because it does not look like this is gonna be uh, going down anytime soon. Now, in addition to that, we're expecting that tomorrow, the Federal Reserve is gonna be announcing more rate hikes on interest and uh, it's looking like it might even be double as to what they were proposing so be prepared for that as well so uh, a lot going on with our economy and you guys I will be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel so you guys that is the latest in breaking news that's coming out just in the past 24 hours and like I said as more comes out I'll be sure to keep you up to date. And as always, thank you so much for joining me. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out a ton. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, come join the Ram Fam. Totally free. All you got to do is hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Why not? I'll keep you up to speed on everything going on. If you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3 and consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram finance to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me and I will catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.